This is the first of a couple videos that I'll do on our 65 fuel injected Corvette. This will be the cold start video. Let's see it there. There's the floor temp. working with its original movement. Put the uh, pedal down just to set the choke. And the car jumps right up on a high idle. All right, we'll let the car get warmed up and then we'll uh, walk around it and show you some other things on it. Thank you very much. Okay, here the car is. It's up to temp. Seems to like a thousand RPM idle the best. Walk around on our 65 Corvette, this original and unrestored fuel injected car, originally sold in California. Original paint, interior, body panels. This car was with its original owner through 2005 at which then it was purchased by the then National Corvette Restorer Society judging chairman Roy Siner. Roy had the car for a few years sold to a friend of mine in Arizona Kevin DeWitt and Kevin proceeded to take the car through NCRS and get its top flight awards as well as its four star and five star bow tie award. All original drivetrain, born with drivetrain, original dated components, items like Voltage regulator, horn relay, horns, distributor, alternator, starter, fuel injection unit. Try and pick up on it here. This car has just beautiful, you know, body seams just like it should be. Try and pick up on that there. Yeah. Next I'll get the car opened up and go through the interior. Dash pads are in absolutely beautiful condition, as are the door panels, the seats, the carpet in the rear plays the part of a car that's 60 years old, or better part thereof. Faded out a little bit, but all the original rugs. Original jack. Items like you know, the original tags and dates on seat belts.
one little flaw in the interior and this armrest you can see a little bit of a fracture there but I'm more than willing to put up with that <laughs> Where's the headliner? Everything's just in tremendous original condition. Pop the hood open. As mentioned before, all original born with drivetrain, engine, transmission, rear end. Of course, the fuel injection specific exhaust manifolds, transistorized ignition distributor, the pulleys, the fan, the fan clutch. As mentioned, the alternator, the starter. The walker on the other side here. So get close to it here. The original VIN number, or the stamping of the VIN number on the fuel injection plenum. Those with a sharp eye will note that I don't have the, the shield on here. And that's just because uh, I have yet to get the car on the road and do the tuning on it. I use a wide band O2 sensor to dial in the fuel injection unit. get the car outside next finally we'll just do a quick walk around here outside sadly there's too much road treatment salt and everything else that's on the road to be able to take the car for a ride so better daylight here as far as the interior is concerned. site you can see all the documentation that this car comes with really no stone unturned as far as documentation is concerned spare tire lock like to know more you can contact me either by phone number here is 715-385-3700 or you can email me tim at bouldermotorcar.com thank you very much i do appreciate your interest